Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's one way of keeping me going, refreshed and inspired. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. We have to analyze the frame shown by constructing the shear force and bending moment diagrams as well as sketching of the elastics, elastic curve. So in this frame, EI is constant. So this frame has no side sway. It is a non-sway frame because of the restraint at the upper level of this uh, frame. So it is a one column, one story uh, frame. So Therefore, because of restraint, you cannot um, move or this frame cannot undergo sideways laterally. So, therefore, this is an unsway frame. And the slope deflection equation is a powerful tool in dealing with this. So, let's call this the reactions at A then moment AB is equal to 2 times 1 over L 8 times 2 theta A which is 0 because this is fixed plus theta B then minus 3 times uh, delta over L so since there is no sides way uh, for this horizontal segment of the frame so 0 then minus fixing moment at A, which is negative because it is relatively at the left of B. So W58 squared over 12. Simplifying, MAB is equal to 0.25 of theta B minus 800 over 3. So call this equation 1. MBA by symmetry is V double theta B, so 0.5 theta B, then plus 800 over 3 by symmetry. Uh, fixed in moment at V is positive. So moment VA is 2 times 1 over 8, quantity 2 times theta V plus 0, minus 3 times 0, plus 50, 8 squared over 12. So this is the equation when both ends of the segment of a beam or frame have moments and have moments. And we assume that EI is constant, which is equal to 1 here. So MBA is equal to 0.5 of theta B plus 800 over 3. Equation 2. So MBC, this is the top fiber at the right, the upper fibers. There is no load, but the far end is fixed. So has moment. So MBC is 2 times 1 over 6. 2 EI over L, 2 times 1 over 6 times 2 theta B plus theta C0, minus 3 times 0, no sides way. There's no load, so no, no fixed end moments. Simplifying, MBC equals 2 thirds of theta B. Equation 3, then finally MCB is just theta B over 3. So I want you to set up this, so quantity 2 times theta C, 0, plus theta B. So that's why we have one third of theta B. Then by equilibrium, MBA plus MBC equals 0. So point theta B, point 0.5 theta B plus 800 over 3, plus 2 thirds theta B equals 0. From here, we can solve theta B, which is equal to negative 1,600 over 7 EI. Having found theta B, we can now compute the moments. So MAB equals 0 0.25 of negative 1,600 over 7 minus 800 over 3. So MA or MAB is negative 323.810 kN meter. MBA or MB, which is MBC, is 2 thirds of theta B. So MBA is MB negative 152.381 so that means MBA is positive 152.381 
we then compute the vertical reactions. Uh, MC is one third of theta B. So M sub C is equal to 76.19. So it is the negative of MCB, that's M sub C. So 76.19 kilonewton meter. So from there, let's have the moment at BA, which is positive of 152.38. And so by slope deflection equation, it is clockwise. MBC is MB is negative, so it is counterclockwise in the figure. Then for reactions at C, we anticipate MCB is because M sub C is positive. MCB would be negative or counterclockwise, so it's also counterclockwise here. And we carry this, we follow the values. So, first, considering AB, summation moment at B is 0, so AY times 8 plus MBA, which is 152.81, this is MBA, positive. Then equals moment at A, which is 323.81. Then plus the moment of the load, 50 times 8 times 4. So solving for AY, AY is equal to 221.429 kilonewtons. Then shear at B just to the left, summation moment A. Let's assume upward times 8 plus moment A, AB, which is 323.81. Then equals moment BA, which is 152.81, plus the moment of the load, 50 times 8 times 4. So, shear at B just to the left is also CY. So, shear at B just to the left is 178.571, which is also C sub Y. Then, for AX, we sum up moment about B for this column. So CX times 6 plus M, this is M, CB, 76.19 plus MB, C, 152.81 equals 0. So that means CX is negative 38.095. So it is leftward. I assume it is rightward, both AX and CX. Then, considering the entire system, summation forces X, we conclude that AX is, because CX is leftward, AX is rightward. So, CX is 38.095 kilonewtons leftward. So, therefore, AX is 38.095 kilonewtons rightward. So, we are now ready to sketch the shear a moment diagrams as well as the elastic curve. So, here, let's sketch and put the values we computed early in the preceding slides. So, AX is 38.095 kilonewtons. AY is 221.429. So, this is the figure where we draw shear moment diagram, shear force diagram. First, we go up by 221.429. Then minus 50 times 8, that would be negative 178.571, which is uh, CY. Then this distance is 2 to 1.429 divided by 50, or use similar triangles. So that's 4.4286 meters. So therefore, this is 8 minus 4.4286, and that's 3.5714 meters. Since CX is leftward, and this is the top fiber, so we we move to the right equal to 38.095. By the way, that's the area. That's the area also of this triangle. So this is uh, 38.095. Then constant. 
and it doses here. So that's the shear force diagram in kilonewtons. You mean shade, you mean that. So the area here is 2 to 8.57, 38.095 times 6. For the bending moment diagram, moment at A is negative 3 to 3.81, so it's below. Then plus this area positive uh, decreasing. So negative 3 to 8. 3 to 3.81 plus 490.31 which is one half of 4.4286 times 2 to 1.429 so we have here positive decreasing and the value maximum positive moment is 166.5 minus 318.874 negative increasing so that's negative 152.384 moment VA. So they are close, uh, not expected to be exact, but practically the same. Then negative 152.381 or 152.374 plus 228.57 so we have here 76.196 so this is 76.19 that's fine so that's the bending moment diagram so finally in kilonewton meter finally we draw the elastic curve so it is expected to have like this shape and because this is the top fiber, it bends like that, then there's a portion that is positive somewhere here. So that's the expected uh, elastic curve. So that's it for this first problem, and I hope that you are able to follow, understand the explanation, and the construction of the shear moment diagrams.